Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. One little spot of light on a globe, basically. A black globe. The few who survived now live in small enclaves. The only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. fiction everything that you know seems familiar isn't it's just you know it's all made up anything resembling blah 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 is likeness blah 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 okay I have seizure warning here automatic checkpoints don't turn off the game when that happens I don't expect to get far but I do expect to get through maybe like the opening stuff I think I've already gone through the options See if there was anything that I wanted to change. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'll figure it out as I go. Controls. Low combat, high resources, low legend points. Normal would be middle of everything. Balance for the majority of gamers. Enemies pose a reasonable threat at the start, which increases the game progresses. Resources are easily achievable. The rest of the cards are fine. Hmm. If I'm most interested in enjoying the story, doing it on easy mode would be the way to go. We'll try normal. And it fades to dark. It fades to black. We got about 40-ish minutes. Yeah, about 40. So make sure to do at least at least 35 if I can. 
press the right mouse button to do a, to block a quick attack. Twenty thirty six. Fifteen years after the fall, fall being in capital, capital F. Still a black screen for now. This game used to be more fun. <coughs> you used to be younger. Spike is <laughs> dumber. Talking to you. What matters is you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. I believe we are Aiden. Now I get to move my character. So. Yeah. All right. Then. We've got a bunch of like we're in grasslands, but there's a bunch of cars too. Yeah. My E is for kicking. You can, if you look back across the way we came from where we jumped from, there are zombies just milling about there. All I have is fists right now, but yeah, there's ruined cars in this grassland and <coughs> space bar to jump over this little fallen tree. Um, there's a ledge I gotta jump over. So I'll run, jump. Look at the ledge and jump toward it with spacebar to grab it. No. Would that be up here? <clears throat> Remember that way? Yeah. Yes, that way. Trees along the cliffside. Just jumping from ledge to ledge. Where's the next ledge? Is it over there? Oh shit. Made it. Cool. Shit, man. You're still strong. Where are you? Oh, you're up there. Can I climb this? Oh, jumping takes some energy too, huh? That's different from that. So what I took for grasslands this is actually a broken highway with a lot of grass growing on concrete for some reason. Doesn't even look like it's growing up through cracks, it's just growing on concrete, so that's odd. Can you jump up here? No? How do I get up there? This is bad. <laughs> This to me all game where I can't even find this play. Oh, I'm gonna do this? I can do this. Okay. <coughs> Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. It seems like we are Aiden, by the way. A I D. -E where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. Well, you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, 
I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, yeah, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. Yeah. So press Q to use your survivor sense, and it shows some kind of nearby things. Survivor sense basically it shoots out this ground like it's echo, it's echo it's sonar more or less um, more or less but it, it makes the screen kind of go silvery silvery whitish. Uh, We've known each other for a long time, but I'll still get pissed off at you if you don't hurry. Yeah, this will do. I guess we don't have to get worried about getting stung. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying, um... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Yeah, there's just a wave of silver energy. And we've learned how to make medicine. You've received a new blueprint. Press I to go to the crafting menu. And there's our two honeys, there's our five chamomiles. Blueprints are used to create accessories, consumables, weapon modifications, and parts. This is where you store all the craft parts, read the craft part description, to see how they're used, where you can find them. Now hover over the medicine blueprint and hold that ticking sound is like the time it takes to, to craft it. Is there's a yellow circle kind of going around that particular thing? Do I just want to do one? Let's do one. For now, I what do you got? Come on, we're almost there. Nice crib. Yeah. Somebody's house that had their own, like, kind of cool. Damn it. Backyard. Locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Looks like it's a yeah, sure. Building, honestly. Park building the park. Search the house. I get in there first. I can crouch and go through here, it looks like. Anyway, do I want to get anything else? Scavengy. Going under like one of those large sliding garage doors, metal that you, you know, usually you pull it up yourself, or there's a, a crank or something, or an engine that does it for you. Got, it's like a garage, it's a bicycle hold up on a shelf, there's a rusted old damaged car, there's storage bins. My survivor sense has indicated there's a bag nearby in another room. Several things. Nearby. No, I don't want to be up here. Me down. Me down. Stop it. Me down. I was up on a light. Not on purpose. Alright. Do I have a flashlight yet? No. 
dark room. I don't like it. Got cigarettes from this bag. First aid kit. Empty. We're inside. It looks like a kitchen with an island. There's something in the next room. Your survivor sense even tells you what's in the, like, the next room. So that's weird. Nothing here. You can only open it from one specific side of it. That's stupid. Pick up these rags. What else we got? Soap. Not valuable. Soap, yeah, that could be valuable. Sure. Soap didn't exist at all in the first game, as far as I remember. <laughs> Investigating a paper here. Five years later, who remembers Haran? Is there any hope left for the thousands of people? Too many flies here, it makes me nervous. The last spring party, 2023, investigators like their little party. party. Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. Yeah. Tuesday, March 20th. Tuesday, March 21st, 2023, there would have been a party. They take these empty bottles? Nothing in here. Let's open this door. God, the way sometimes it makes you open doors makes you think there's something on the other side that's scary as crap. You're just kind of in an office. And what the? Hey, everything all right? Oh. Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying, if you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Hmm? What? Why would you say that? What did I do to make you worry? Resin? And that's what they called art? I couldn't tell you. It's just, I, I'm not going to describe art. Just, it looks like a bunch of colors on canvas. I can't tell out really any shapes or anything. It's mostly black and white and, a little, and some red. Um, I don't know why Spike said that about worrying about me and leaving. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Voodoo. Hmm. Sounds familiar. Honestly, well, hope I can just, you know, quit and save the game whenever I want to. I sort of could yeah. the other one. I think I'm most of it. I could. Not a zip. Resin. 
Remember, is resin what they're using as kind of like an explosive liquid in this game? Okay, so we're out. Some more cigarettes here. God, leave it to it. Like even the post-apocalyptic world to still care about cancer sticks. Now, have I inspected everything that I can? That's the, that's the door, right? Hiding spot. So wait, am I supposed to go in the hiding spot and then like search for something? Or am I supposed to hide here maybe? Am I, oh, I'm invisible here. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's that's cool to know. Maybe I'll have to know that in a second here. I'm opening another door. There's a large cinematic. For it. And it looks like it may be kids. Oh no, there's a skeleton. On a chair, and another skeleton in a stool. Another skeleton on the ground. I say skeletons, but they're like mostly skeletons. They could still be zombies, but none of them are getting up yet. There's a journal. Sorry, Dave. Goodbye is written in it. Are pulling it. That's heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. They had each other. More party flyers. Looks like they might have been having a card game gambling. Yeah, there's just one person just sitting by the pool. Or what used to be a pool, now it's kind of like more of a pond. But I guess. If they hunch one one body is just laying on a cot or what used to be a cot because it's just like wood kind of bed. There's a um, dead person. She was classy. In the pool, wearing a dress, in a in a life preserver, and one of those life rings. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. He's up on the second floor. And he just takes a seat. I guess waiting for us to get up there. There's a dude, there's a corpse just kind of sitting in front of a stereo system with, <laughs> he still has the, the stereo headset on, that guy's like a DJ in. Make sure I didn't miss anything down here. The garden area. Um, Alright. I didn't see where to go upstairs, but I'm sure I'll find it. Spot 
spot again. Again, want to kind of remember where that is, I guess, to get back to it. So where's the stairs? Where did you find stairs to get up? Because I think I've gone too far. Stairs. I don't want to just check out is this the view. I could just do the view. Oh wow! So before I talk to him, this nice house is situated amongst what is now at least a very nicely wooded area. It looks like kind of like it's autumn because we got trees that have green and oranges and browns and I mean, nice browns, not like dead browns. And beyond that, we have mountainous hills. Looks like you can see some snow on it, not a lot. Or maybe that's water. Stream or waterfall going down the mountain. And looks like they were playing beer pong. Got some cups set up for beer pong. Got a bedroom up here. Very dark. I wish I had a flashlight. Sit down, buddy. Okay. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. Oh yeah. I knew Spike sounded familiar. Crane is the protagonist. I tracked down that guy for you. In number one. The main the guy you play is Crane. What guy? Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. I'm gonna try to select the answers that make it seem like I've never played this before because I haven't. So uh, that felt, that felt like the right answer, what guy? Um, Waltz. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly, he knows something about Waltz. I don't remember all the interactions with Spike. In the Villador. So I'm that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary? It's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. Boom, something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, and suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. Just in case they make me remember it. Like if time is of the essence kind of thing. 140, 200. Okay. Do you know what he wants in return? What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? 
You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that Waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz at dawn. The guy's waiting for you. It'll probably, it'll probably just happen in the game. But just in case. I got a grubby bat. And I don't know how to get to it. Yeah. Moist habit. Okay. H is for using the healing thingy, I guess. Anything else to do up here? I'm gonna have to hide from that stupid piano, I just know it. I don't wanna. I'm scared. Right. I can't kick these, these bucks over. Talk about immersive. Downstairs, I am thoroughly freaked out. I know I'm gonna do something now. Give me a bat. I'm gonna have to use it. What's my, what's even my objective right now? I can hear something. It's like the first time playing the first game. There were some freak out moments and I'm not prepared for them. What happens if I hit quit? Is that gonna save it? I'm sure you wanna quit. No. I'm, si I'm under the piano. I can hear something. I'm just preemptively under here just in case. Yep, that's I don't like that sound at all. I don't see anything though. So like if you're hidden, um, you have a little eye. If you can or can't see it, but um, there's a little gray eye with a little slash through it. It makes me think I'm hidden. I'm either hearing the sound of wind causing creaking. Or footsteps. <sighs> I heard like skittering too. I played this game called Fear. Uh, it, was an, it was an acronym for. Um, and if you played it, you know what I'm talking about. But it was a scary game. Things popped out at you. Um, 
He had powers though, that's kind of cool. Like I could do telekinesis in some ways. Moving back to the house here. Oh god, stop it. Weren't there bodies? Are they in this room or the next room? Where'd Spike go? Where am I supposed to go? Get to the radio antenna. I don't have a map. Great. Okay. Well. This door is still open. Is it go around here? <laughs> the compound here. You got this is a big old cement wall. I'm just going around the cement, but it comes up I can't go any further. Can I climb this? No. Okay. Was I supposed to like jump through some of the God, I might not actually be able to progress much here because I gotta my marker is gone for getting to the antenna, it's just... <laughs> Tab to check your current objective. I didn't do it. <coughs> I said hold tab. I am holding tab. I didn't do it. It's not doing it. In the, in the first game, tab is what um, made you like your like little weapon menu basically pop open. You'd, you'd hold tab and you'd go left, right, etc. with your mouse to pick pick your weapon. Not doing anything in this game so far. against a lake, like an actual lake that I hadn't seen before. There's a little, there's a little wooden boat here. 
but it looks like it's broken. Well, there's water in it. I don't know if there's a hole, but there's water in it. Nope, cool. Some stuff I can go through. More chamomile. Eight gold. Biters. That was more one shit. One's like climbing into and out of a window. I'm trying to go. Well, I'll kill you, I guess, if I have to. Into and out of this window. Oh, now it's down. Coming at me. Welcome to our lake house. You kind of lunge forward a tad when you swing. Thank you for sticking with me. Time to go back. Well, no, I got a little bit more time. A little bit more time. I, I still don't want to be stuck in the middle of combat or something when I have to go, but... So nothing jump scary yet. There will be. Thousand percent guarantee. That's a Riley guarantee. If you didn't know, my name is Riley. <coughs> and I guarantee that. It's all I do. Anything else I can play with on here? Have I now satisfied myself? <laughs> enough to stop for a minute. Yeah, I got five minutes left to work, so I'm gonna grab this camel. No, that's not camel. Okay. Anything else I can grab? Cool. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna kick this tree on accident and call it a day. Take a seat on this bench. Look out over the lake. Oh, oh jump in this boat. Jump in this boat. Cool. Just gonna sit in this boat, enjoy the lilies, and uh, see you later. Please save just like normally, like right there, so I don't have to do everything over again. Do, do, do. Oh, Alright, see you guys.
guys next time.